Laramie Foothills Mountains to Plains project was a um, collaboration of several entities, including local governments and land trusts. Um, that was the City of Fort Collins and Larimer County, as well as our local Legacy Land Trust and then the Nature Conservancy. And uh, those entities partnered with uh, Great Outdoors Colorado using lottery, Colorado Lottery funds. And we had nine uh, willing landowners. And the ultimate goal of the project was to protect 55,400 acres up in the Laramie Foothills area. Well, this area here at Red Mountain Open Space is a phenomenal place for biodiversity. Red Mountain Open Space is really important for several reasons. One is that it is critical corridor habitat for lots of wildlife. I mean, this area connects the mountains to the plains in a very important ways for wildlife. And, and as everyone who lives on the Front Range knows, there aren't very many places now where wildlife can get from the mountains to the plains. Um, you have to go pretty far south before there's a corridor like this here at Red Mountain Open Space where wildlife can travel between those two ecosystems. One of the things that's most remarkable here at Red Mountain Open Space are these uh, mountain mahogany shrublands. These mountain mahogany shrublands are the best ones that we know of in the world, period. And here we find it with another grass called Stipa neomexicana, New Mexico feather grass. It's only here at Red Mountain that you see these shrublands existing in such high quality and in such large, unfragmented patches. Here in this landscape in, in the mountains to plains area, we have a large matrix of working lands. It's a working landscape where agriculture has been a key part of this area for over a hundred years. And as we can see now that uh, by helping to preserve that agricultural heritage, we're also preserving open space and keeping the opportunities that people in, in Colorado love in terms of getting outside, enjoying open spaces, and enjoying nature. I feel like in Colorado now, we're really seeing a complete shift. Really, it's a renaissance. Now we've realized that these working landscapes that have been stewarded very well by our agriculturalists through the last century in many areas are now some of our best opportunities for conservation. My kids love to come here and we love to come here and so I'm grateful to all of the partners that were able to make this happen and it was lottery dollars in particular that were able to help, help make this happen through their support of the partnerships that came together to create this landscape level conservation that we now enjoy and which Red Mountain Open Space is a part of. What I find the most unique about Red Mountain is you can be here and never see a structure, a telephone pole, or anything that reminds you of the current civilization, the busy civilization that we live in. Every time you see how good Northern Colorado or Fort Collins is a place to live, the picture you see always on the cover of a magazine is Horsetooth Reservoir. Horsetooth Reservoir, uh, which most people don't know, is the second busiest reservoir in the state of Colorado. So we have an incredible visitor use here, especially during the summer months for boating, swimming, hiking, fishing. So it's really important to do these improvements and improve our amenities up to kind of the standards people are expecting now. We see more staycations, people staying closer to home. So when they visit here, they stay for longer periods of time. They take longer vacations here, they extend their holiday weekends, they extend their weekends by a day or two. So what we try to do is give them more activities while they're here. So by creating larger, bigger swim beaches, outdoor gathering areas, more access to local trails, full hookup campsites in our campgrounds, just all these improvements to help people who stay longer enjoy their stay more. I think the best part about bringing your family up to Horsetooth County Park is a variety of outdoor recreation we have here. Whether you're into fishing, boating, canoeing, kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, just hanging out on the swim beach, just taking your kids out to nature, we really have a wide variety. We're very close to town. Even though we're, we're only a mile from the city of Fort Collins, you feel like you're out in the mountains. So when you're up here, you get that sense that you're really away. Poudre River is an amazing resource to the people of Colorado. Not only is it Colorado's only wild and scenic river in its upper reaches, it's also a national heritage area in its lower reaches as it goes towards the South Platte in the Plains. We absolutely could not have built this trail without the Colorado Lottery and the help of Great Outdoors Colorado. While we have local sales tax amenities to help us match those dollars, 
The cost is absolutely prohibitive without the match of the Colorado Lottery through the Conservation Trust Fund and through Great Outdoors Colorado granting programs. In Fort Collins, our funding for the trail is the um, Conservation Trust. When Lottery first came in in 1984, they allocated all that money towards the trail system and open space programs. So it's been a very steady funding source for us and we can make uh, wonderful improvements every year. We look at making quality communities, and in this case, Laramie County is part of this whole process. That's extremely important to the satisfaction and enjoyment and what you always want to say, quality of life. It's deeper than that. It's really a fundamental opportunity and a value set that we all should have. Lottery funding makes the difference. We would have been every year going in to compete in the, in the um, pot of money the city has against the police, against the fire, against transportation, and we probably would have not done very well. And so we probably would have had, um, I'm going to say something like 50% of the trail done if we wouldn't have had the lottery funding for us. It's that important to us.